Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload campaign members using uh, the command that is available directly in the uh, campaign. From an Excel spreadsheet, we will uh, add existing contact and uh, create new one at the same time. So first thing I need the campaigns. I have a couple of campaigns here uh, with personalized campaign statuses that are in my spreadsheet. So you want to make sure that these are um, the statuses for campaign members. Uh, that you will be using. So I'm going to use a here clone was related and I want to keep my new campaign member statuses uh, in my old campaign. So this is going to be number four. And now I have a list of uh, contacts that I would like them to be part of in my Excel spreadsheet. And here they are. Um, so my first column account name uh, you need to have a header but I have but I haven't put any IDs uh, so these accounts uh, and co this context exists already first name last name email is important we'll be matching by that and this is campaign member status so I'm gonna add here another one um, oops so let's add Bobby Fisher oops like that and Bobby at .com, and he would be mail not send as a contact. So there you go. I'm going to save this file and now I'm going to use uh, here on a campaign on the summer four uh, on the campaign relate campaign member related list. There is, if you on the drop down, there is a function to import contacts and leads. And when you do it from here, you go to account and contacts, you're going to upsert, which is add new and update existing records. So we're going to match by Salesforce ID. And the last one here, I just usually serve it to household account. And now I am going to choose my file, which is right here. And I'm gonna click next. And here my fields are mapped because they're uh, recognized from my spreadsheet. But if you need to change it, you just click change from there. And I'm gonna click next and I'm going to start the import. And once you click okay, you'll be brought up to a screen where uh, it shows you the status of your job of the, uh, of the upsearch. And you will also get an email when the job is completed to tell you whether um, all of the contacts have been created successfully. So I uh, will just give it a little refresh to make sure it's there. And then I'm just gonna go right away to the campaign and they should be there. So I'm gonna click on uh, back home and my campaign number four is here. So now I'm waiting my campaign members to come here and I should have, I should have how many members? I should have uh, six campaign members in my uh, campaign. So what it should have done, it these contacts already existed in my Salesforce and Bobby was a new contact. So um, this contact should uh, be new and the rest one should be uh, the same contacts but uh, I added to the campaign. So I just got an email that load has been completed. And if I refresh this, you would see that I now have com six campaign members, um, four of them with mailing sent and the other one is not sent. So if you, and if you look at the members, they all, um, they all appear here and uh, Julia is an old contact. I had it in my Salesforce before, so it hasn't been created, but the campaign participation has been added to an existing record. So that's how campaign um, members work via uploading the Excel spreadsheets. Uh, thanks so much, guys.